Okay, let's start this latest cloud tester qualification test. So first of all, we have the tasks here. So I'm going to read them out loud. Um, hi there, in this qualification test, you'll be reading our tester code of conduct. The rules you need to follow when playing testing. Don't forget that qualification tests are unpaid. Mark this task as done by tapping the mark as complete button, then go to the next next task. Okay, so I mark that one and then first tell us about what you want why you want to become a playtester. This doesn't need to be a long response. Take up to 30 seconds for this task. Um I want to be a playtester because I love gaming since I was a child. Uh, I've been playing many, many types of games and I really enjoy um, trying new games out. And I also want to help uh, developers uh, when they are creating a new game. So I think that would be very, very interesting for me. Now mark this as complete. That's number three. Great, as a play tester, you can test all possible aspects of a game, not just gameplay. We need you to talk as much as, much as possible while you play test, saying how you feel about what is on the screen, whether good or bad. You won't be looking for bugs, you'll be testing for enjoyment and understanding of the game. Okay, got it. Number four, many of our play tests have in app tasks like this. Tasks help to guide a tester's commentary or their route through the test. You need to complete them in order, one at a time, to be eligible for the playtest reward. When playtesting, you'll need to switch between the playtest cloud app and what you're testing. Once you've completed a task, a task in the test, come back here to the playtest cloud app. Here, here you'll mark tasks as done and see the next tasks. Number five, so let's begin. Yay. Tapping open playtest below will take you to our tester FAQ. We want you to find the code of conduct article. You can find it using the search bar or listed under the general playtesting info section. Read the article, intro, and all the points under the heading when playtesting, please ensure you. Don't read the points under you must not yet. When you're done, go to the next task. Okay, so I open playlist. Then I then I go to search. The serve code of conduct. And now I read it out loud. Test your code of conduct. And I read everything under when playtesting, please ensure you. Okay. Only record while in the country that you have specified on your profile. Record in a quiet place away from others or distractions. Provide continuous and constructive thoughts and opinions in English, unless asked otherwise. While recording, your device should also be set to English. Both positive and negative opinions are very welcome. The best comments are fair and useful. The intention is to send the recordings to the developer. If we note excessive cursing or derogatory comments directed at them, we will not use the recording and you will not be rewarded. Remain focused when playtesting. Stay actively and fully engaged in the test. Fill out your profile and screener service honestly. And arrive on time in the app for any scheduled playtest where you have organized a time slot with us, letting us know ahead of time if you are unable to make it. Okay, now I go back. Complete. 
Why do you think it is important for a tester to give both positive and negative opinions? Okay, so I think it is important because the, the game developer needs to hear both negative and positive opinions um, in order to make their games as best as they can. So I think uh, that uh, as long as negative opinions are well fundamented and uh, constructive, they are okay as well as positive uh, ones. The developers use playtesters feedback to make their games the best they can be. By getting your honest opinions, they can improve their games before launch. Yes. Next question. Why do you think it is important that a tester only records in the location that is on their profile? I believe that it is important if we take into consideration that these tests are research, um, research opportunities for game developers. And whenever one person does research, then they select people uh, based on what they need to know about these people. And um, it is really important that the demographics are correct. So if I say that I live in a place it, um, and I don't live in that place, that could be bad for the research, research itself. We work with, with developers who need specific target audiences for their playtests, which is why testers need to be in the location on their profile. Now, read the rest of the code of conduct article and then answer the question. Why do you think it's important that a tester doesn't discuss a play, playtest game with anyone or that they don't take screenshots? Okay, so I'm going to read the rest of the article. Must not discuss any game you have played with anyone. Take screenshots or screen recordings unless you are reporting an issue to us. Attempt to use software that masks your location, emulates or devices, or takes tests on your behalf. Or Fraud prevention systems will catch this and you will be banned. Ignore any in-app playtest tasks. Doing so will result in non-payment. Have more than one account with Playtest Cloud. Work in game development. And in red it says, when accepting a, a playtest or an interview slot, please ensure that you are able to commit to all of the above rules. If you don't follow them, it could result in latest submissions being denied payment and or removal from the latest cloud database. Thanks for playtesting and for your interest in helping us improve games. Happy gaming! Yes. Now I answer this question. Why do you think it is important that a tester doesn't discuss a playtest? I think it is important because these games are probably not out yet. So people don't know about it. Uh, open just yet and um, there is still a work in progress for these developers so of course they don't want to show anything that is not ready uh, to others that's why it is important that we uh, as playtesters don't say anything the playtests as of her game that are not yet public they are the developer's property and we aren't allowed to share them under any circumstances. Right work so far. Now a few questions about your recent gaming experience. Tell us about a game that you played recently. What type of, of game was it? Was there a goal? I recently I played Terraria, which is a game on that I play on PC. And the type of game was, I will say, survival, crafting survival, very similar to Minecraft. And yes, the goal was to to first survive <laughs> and the nature, I will say. And then um, if I wanted to, I could go and fight bosses in order to get uh, rewards and achievements. 
talking about this in game. Tell us about a difficult or conflicting experience you had while playing it. How did it affect your enjoyment of the game? Well, I did have a lot of troubles trying to understand what to do at the beginning because there was no tutorial and I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to uh, how to build a house or how to um, create some tools that I needed. So I had to look for that on the internet because the game didn't say anything. And it did actually affect my enjoyment because I was so lost that I that I got frustrated and I wasn't actually enjoying the game at that moment because of that. To end the test with a positive, tell us about a moment in the game that you really enjoyed. What made it a good experience? I really enjoyed the infinite possibilities you have when constructing things. You can create everything and anything you can think of. And I also liked the fact that some gamers created um, content for the game. For example, um, for example, tools or or clothes for the for your character. So I found that really really cool. Number twelve. You've reached the end of the qualification test. As long as you're connected to a strong Wi-Fi, your recording will upload to us automatically. Once it's uploaded, we'll send you a confirmation email and then begin the review process. You will get the results within a few days. To end the recording, complete this final task and then tap on the pause recording button below. This button will always be in the Playtest Cloud app. You will then be taken to a final screen where you can end the screen broadcast. Got any questions? Get in touch with us at help at litiscloud.com. Happy gaming! Guys, yeah, so I think that's all. I really enjoyed this qualification test and I hope um, I can get a chance to test games with you guys. Thank you.